Hi there guys, Bullington here, and today I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Skygrid. Um, today we have made some progress since the last episode. As you can see, we've uh, we've got this nice little cobblestone platform up here. And we've got several trees, including my, my new favorite tree. This is my spruce climbing tree. And I put some uh, ladders on here so I can get up here. And uh, I can get around pretty easily from up on top of this tree so I'm pretty glad that I had these here and we also I built some area up around underneath where our first diamond is so when I get another iron pickaxe we'll be able to mine a diamond just for the sake of saying that we had done so uh, what we're going to be doing today though is we are going to make a pickaxe of some sort and we are going to go up Ooh, that's a stone pickaxe um, we're going to go up to the very top there, and we're going to pick a pillar, and we're going to ride it all the way down. And we're going to get all of the minerals that we can from that. I've already started mining this way. I've found that this is a very, 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 very efficient way to mine uh, doing this ladder method, because I can just let everything drop to the ground, and if I miss everything, now that I've got that huge platform down there, I can just walk down there and pick everything up at the end, which is fantastic. So we're going to get up here, and we're not going to go through that one we're going to go we're gonna bunny hop one away and then we're gonna try there yeah so we're not going here and we're not going there I'm gonna try and scout it out as best I can that one actually looks this one actually looks kind of nice so I guess we're gonna go ahead and dig through down here and we're gonna pray we don't hit any lava so one thing we don't want is lava All right, so yeah, this is basically the best way to go. Well, that's okay, because all my stuff is right here. It is absolutely just right here, so I can just go ahead and go pick everything up. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna we're gonna reset and we're gonna do that again. Uh, that actually went much better than I thought it would. Um, I thought I thought that I was gonna die a lot quicker, but uh, the fact that we have this nice this huge platform, which uh, I'll take a second to show you, like it goes all the way over there, all the way back here, and then I've actually started expanding it this way too. The bigger this platform gets, the more safe I feel, and the more resources that we can save from falling into oblivion. And I actually, if we see another spider, we're gonna do what I did earlier, which was I knocked a spider off in mid jump, and then I followed him down into the oblivion and it was it was just so much fun it wasn't it wasn't anything special or wasn't anything like crazy but it was just one of those simple pleasures in minecraft just follow follow another creature to their doom all right um so yeah we're up here where do we want to go next um i'm thinking i'm thinking we try and make it over to that pumpkin right there yep here we go so we're gonna try and dig down from here and I found out that it's faster to dig through wood if you do it by hand instead of using a tool that's not an axe or a block. Um, unless you have something that has efficiency. Efficiency does pretty quick. It's pretty fast with efficiency. Alright, so we're going to go down through here. Yes, but uh, today I've spent a lot of time in Minecraft. Um, a lot more than I normally... Oh no! <sighs> that's okay. All of our stuff's right here. It's all right here. Um, but uh, I got to spend a lot more time in Minecraft than I normally get to, and that was good. Uh, I've done a lot of work in my hardcore world. Like, I mean a ton of work. I uh, now have a fully functioning spider or uh, skeleton spawner that I've been working on. Um, we are. I'm working on a massive tree farm. Like, I want... It's not even going to be like a practical tree farm. It's going to be more of a it-looks-cool kind of tree farm. And it's just, I've already started leveling off a huge field. I've almost broken one shovel with uh, unbreaking two on it. Just a diamond shovel at that. Just I've already done it just moving dirt. So at the end of, uh, I worked for one solid day in Minecraft. And not, not in real life. Like, I literally mean that. I worked for one solid Minecraft day on it. And um, that's, I, I ended up with about 30... This full top row, this full top row, and about four right here of just stacks of dirt. So I just had a ton of dirt after that whole thing, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all. I think I'm gonna put it some. I'm gonna put it somewhere else that uh, that I need to build up some dirt or build something up with. 
But yeah, we're gonna go down through here. I also did find a, uh, there's a spider spawner that's fairly close to my little base down here. And I might be able to turn that into something useful. But I believe that I found a skeleton spawner as well. So hopefully I'll be building a skeleton spawner soon. Because a skeleton spawner will allow me to farm food much better. And when I start farming food, I won't have to keep killing myself. Like that, kind of. Uh, but all of my stuff is stuck up on that tree. I think it's right. Oh, well, part of my stuff is here. Um, where's the rest of my stuff? I'm going to go climb my climbing tree. Actually, I kind of want to grow a uh, a forest of these things, of spruce trees, in my hardcore world. I think that's what I'm going to make that whole area out of. So it's going to be like the... Um, if you ever played Red... Oh, that was a fail. If you ever played Red Dead Redemption, it was like the, the, tall, the tall trees area. That's kind of like what I want to do. I want to have like a, a tall trees, kind of s tall spruce forest. And uh, I think I might even like manicure it to the point where... Uh, if a short one grows, like a little short spruce tree grows, I'll cut it down until a big one grows. And then I just want to have like a forest of these things. So I think that might look really, that might look pretty cool. So I think that's what I'm going to work on. Or I think that's how I'm going to plant it. But a uh, bit of news. Um, as you guys may or may, may have not noticed already, I have passed 500 subscribers by about 20. Um... When I hit when I hit 500, it went. Uh, I've gained like 20 subscribers this week, so I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm over 500 now. Um, but I am still planning to do an event like a, a server thing where everyone can join and we'll play like survival games or do a Vex super hostile map. I think we're gonna do. I might even have it open up to like a uh, have it open up to like a team speak chat thing like a team speak room so people can join in and we can like coordinate and we'll do a vex super hostile map because vex super hostile maps are hard as shit to do and having more people to do like the little menial task and to fight stuff off is is pretty good so that's probably what we'll be doing when we when we do that but uh there is no i don't have an eta on that because tomorrow is my first day going back to college this semester and then i'm going to college three days three days out of the week uh, and at least I think that's what it is. I think it's Monday, Tuesday, and th Thursday. Or it might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It might be, th it's either three days or four days. I'm hoping it's three days, but if it's four days, then my videos might, uh, they might slow down depending on what it is because I'm taking two classes that I'm going to have to really concentrate on. I'm not like, it's not going to be like a computer class that I can just ace without even thinking about it. Um, and one of them is an English class, so I should be fine with that one, but they, they, I've heard that the class requires a lot of essays and, like, really long essays, so if I'm forced to spend, I don't know, a day or two writing a thousand, or writing, like, a 5,000 page essay, I won't be able to make a video, obviously, and, uh, I'll just keep, I'll keep you guys posted as far as, um, my schooling goes and everything, but uh, I think that's, that's probably not gonna happen i think i'm 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 gonna try and beast mode this semester that's just what i'm gonna say i'm gonna try and beast mode the semester and we're gonna see how well i do i'm taking more classes this semester than i ever have before um pardon my squeaky 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 chair i don't have the money to get a new one so i'm kind of stuck with this one but uh yeah that's pretty much that um the other thing that i am taking that i am excited about is a photoshop class like the legitimate photoshop formal training class that i think i get a certificate for which is something that i'm really excited about because i already use photoshop a lot i use photoshop for all of my everything i have to do with graphics all of my video thumbnails um if i make tweaks to zypher's design on my channel background i do it with uh adobe photoshop and yeah, so it's I use that program a lot, and it's uh, to me I think it would be a very good idea to get a formal training on it, which is exactly what I'm gonna try and do uh, with this class. And once I have a formal training on it, I'll be able to do stuff either more efficiently or just do cooler stuff. Like I, the main thing that I want to learn about is like 3D text, 3D graphics in Photoshop. I already know how to do it, as if you looked at any of my old thumbnails, I had a rudimentary knowledge of how to do it and i know i'm gonna break this without getting the mineral i really don't care it's just gold but if you look at some of my old thumbnails i had a rudimentary knowledge of how to do 3d text but i want to learn how to do it how to make it proper and make it not have the uh 
the pixelation lines. And the other thing that I uh, want to learn about is things like um, how to get proper pixel density so that when you have something that you're working on, like say, say I have a thumbnail. My thumbnails right now, I designed them in 1920 by 1080. So that's what they're designed in. Then I downscale them and uh, Photoshop to 1280 by 720, which is what I've found to be a very, a very solid number for um, doing thumbnails. They always turn seem to turn out really well. But uh, doing that, I want to learn how to make the 19. I want to make learn how to make the 1280 look exactly like the 1920 when it's small. Like I want to learn how to properly thumbnail and do all that stuff. And pardon the dogs downstairs; they're barking all of a sudden. But uh, that's what I'm hopefully going to be getting out of this class coming up soon. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get in there and they're going to be like, okay, well, let's take pictures and modify the pictures, blah, 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 blah. Um, which is a very big possibility. If they do, then I'm going to not be as happy with the class. I want to learn more about how to use the program for applications that can help me and help my channel and stuff. And uh, get me a career and get me a job here soon because I'm definitely going to... Money's running thin, and I can, I'm can i starting to feel it. Like, before, I've been out of a job for a little... Or out of a uh, legitimate job for a little while, and I'm starting... Oh, it's charcoal and coal. I was wondering why I couldn't stack them together. Okay. Um, but I'm starting to feel the pinch a little bit, and it's getting really annoying. So I, I am going to be getting a job here soon. That will cut into YouTube... Because I don't make enough from YouTube to make it a job, so I have to get a real, I have to get a real job to support my real life stuff and you know stay alive and eat and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully it'll be a computer oriented class. I do. I am hopefully going to be doing some lab assistant stuff for my college, which will pay pretty well, which is computer oriented and it has me working in my field, which is what I want to do. But uh, I'm not so cert I'm not certain how many hours they'll be able to give me or how long that would last so i need to get a real job that pays well um and then once i do that i can like start putting money back into my channel the last thing i really spent money on for my channel was uh my microphone stand and my pop filter oh there's there's a spider okay this this is gonna be so worth it this is gonna be so worth it and this is this is how i'm gonna end the episode off but um last thing i spent money for my channel on was my microphone and my or my microphone stand and my pop filter the next thing I want to upgrade is get my I'm getting my streaming device thing pretty soon, which is something that I'm I'm glad about. But uh, I haven't gotten that yet. But I just I don't know. I want to put some more money into my channel, like maybe do a promotions for a couple of videos or do something along those lines. But uh, yeah, putting putting money into my back into my channel is something that I want to do, and I need to get a job to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, we're gonna stir this and. Um, we're going to go knock the spider off into oblivion. Anything in my inventory? Nope. Oh, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Oh, no, no, no. No, <laughs> no he was supposed to fall first. I feel like an idiot. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and listening today. And uh, remember all the stuff I've said. And, ooh, that tree grew. Finally. This tree has been sitting here for, like, four episodes, and it just hasn't grown yet. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, for Skygrid Survival, this is Bullington, signing off.